Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, welcome to my channel. And if you are a returning subscriber, again, welcome to another video here on my channel. I recently did a poll on Instagram asking you guys what type of video you would like me to upload next. And more than half of you said you would like to see a video that is non-hair related. And also more than half of you said you would like to see a video of me reflecting on my 2018. So that is the video I'm going to do for you guys today. I'm going to, again, reflect on my 2018. If I could use one word to summarize my 2018, I would probably have to say... Lit. <laughs> this year was so good for me for so many reasons and I'm going to share those reasons with you guys in this video today. So the first lit thing that happened this year that I'll talk about is that I graduated grad school. A lot of you may obviously not know this but after I got my bachelor's degree I just had no idea what I wanted to do career-wise and I felt like it didn't make sense to go straight into graduate school with that type of mindset. To me, you need to go to graduate school when you know for sure what you want to study or what type of career field you want to be in and it's not the type of schooling that you just do just because it's what's next or at least in my opinion that's how I felt and I knew that after I graduated with my bachelor's degree I was just exhausted from being in school and I totally needed a mental break so that is exactly what I did. I dabbled in a variety of different jobs. I worked in bridal for a couple years. I worked at doctor's offices, venues where people have special events like weddings. I just did a bunch of random things and I'm really glad that I did that because it allowed me to experience different fields and it truly gave me the time I needed to really figure out what I wanted to do with my life. So when I entered graduate school, I was fully ready. I was mentally prepared to do everything I needed to do to succeed and that I did. I was able to graduate with honors. I graduated with a 4.0 GPA and I actually held a 4.0 GPA for the last three semesters of my graduate school and the first semester I had a 3.6 so your girl was really killing the game in graduate school, which says a lot because I never honestly cared that much about school until I was in graduate school. Maybe that was because I was older, but I don't know. The fact that I was able to work full time while living on my own and being financially responsible for myself, it just says a lot to me because I know that a lot of people when they're in school, they might still be living at home or if they're not living at home, their parents basically pay for their lives so that they could focus on school. And that just wasn't the situation I had. I had to depend totally on myself and I did it. And I just feel so proud. And yeah, that was definitely the most lit thing that happened to me in 2018, graduating grad school with honors. Another lit thing that happened this year is that I met this amazing group of girls. I call them my curl friends because we met over having curly hair. Um, these girls are just so, so amazing. Like, I'm so thankful that I met them this year. We have made so many memories already and I can't wait to make that much more memories with them in 2019. We went on a overnight little weekend trip where we went to... Uh, Daytona Beach for the weekend and we just had so so much fun whenever I'm with them I'm just always laughing and it's just so cool to see that we bonded over something as simple as hair and it's developing into really great friendships so definitely one of the highlights of 2018 was meeting my curl friends speaking of curly hair 2018 marked the official one year that I've been a brand ambassador for the company Curls. And through being a brand ambassador, I have been able to try new products, but I've also been able to meet a lot of new people and again, bond over something as simple as curly hair. I love the girls that are a part of the Orlando Street team with me. We definitely have a lot of fun together and it's just really cool to be the face of a company and yeah. Another lit thing. <laughs> 
A fourth lit thing about 2018 is that your girl's skin has been flourishing. If you are familiar with my channel, I had posted a skin video maybe, what, almost two years ago because for some reason my skin just went berserk. Like, I don't know what the heck happened, but like both sides of my cheeks were just covered in acne and I don't have that problem no more. My skin is completely, completely smooth. I only get a breakout when it's that time of the month, so it's only a hormonal thing and even then, it's not even that crazy of a breakout. So my skin finally getting it together, definitely a lit thing from 2018. A fifth lit thing about 2018 was that I turned 29. I am in the last year of my 20s and whew, as scary as that seems, I'm ready. I'm ready to be 30, I think, maybe, I don't know, but <laughs> I don't have a choice. It's coming, it's approaching and I definitely feel like I've accomplished a lot in these 29 years and I am excited to see what 30 will bring for me. I went to a couple concerts this year in 2018. Um, I saw Beyonce and Jay-Z and woo, that concert was so good. Like, oh. Still don't know why. <laughs> oh my God! I love Beyonce, so anything she does, I basically love it. But without being biased, that concert was pretty, pretty dope. I got to see Miguel in concert, and I love Miguel. He was so good. I was so close to him. Like, the videos and the pictures that I got were just crazy. I got to see Demi Lovato in concert and I never would have thought I would go to a Demi Lovato concert but her last album was so good because it was more like R&B inspired and that concert was amazing. is beautiful i loved it and she had dj khaled there and kalani so that was a really really good show 2018 was also filled with a lot of great memories for my family we had um two all white parties there was a bunch of get togethers and there was weddings in this beautiful venue it was just a really great time we just made a lot of really great memories so i really appreciated the fun that my family and i had during 2018 together also in 2018 i was able to master wash and goes like <laughs> as silly as that sounds i have been a twist out queen for about the last two years but i finally found some products that allow me to do wash and goes again and i'm just really living it like this is a gel free wash and go you guys, guys gel free 
<laughs> this is the diva curl super stretch cream and i have a video talking about that product so go check that one out but yeah this is day three hair like so yeah <laughs> Another major highlight of 2018 was that I got a new job at a really, really great company. I'm currently an RBT, which is a registered behavior technician. So basically, if you're not familiar with what that is, I am a behavior therapist for kids with autism. I provide therapy services to aid them in being successful in their daily lives, whether it be through education or through basic life skills such as being able to get dressed, being able to understand the concept of waiting, and just managing different behaviors that are problematic. Through this job, I've been able to grow tremendously. I've been given a lot of amazing opportunities that I probably that I probably would have never been able to obtained through another company and i'm just so grateful for this company because it has been such a blessing to me they've actually even offered me a scholarship to, to train and become a management level position which is a bcba a board certified behavior analyst so in two years i'm gonna be so so lit by having this high position that i'm just uh, i'm just so excited and i can't wait i start training or the classes in january so i'm just so happy and so excited to start this new journey in my career and i wouldn't be able to do it without this company i did have a couple fallbacks this year um, the biggest one being that i had planned this wonderful vacation that i was so so excited to go on it was supposed to be my graduation trip um everything was booked paid for ready to go and last minute because of unforeseen events i had to cancel it and i was pretty devastated because i spent so much time planning it and i was just so excited to finally go on a vacation so that was probably the biggest disappointment but hopefully i'll be able to go on one next year for my 30th birthday i don't know we'll see another downfall was that although i gained a lot of new friends this year i did have to deal with some struggles in old friendships and i'm still trying to come to terms with that but i think the biggest lesson that i've learned is that not everyone is going to be in your life forever and that's just something that we have to accept and it isn't the end of the world as painful as it may be but all you can do is keep moving and keep bettering yourself the last struggle that i would say that i had in 2018 was a lot of um social comparison now i've been dealing with issues with social comparison for maybe the past what three years or so um i feel like in this day and time where social media is so big it's really easy to look at someone else's life and feel like their life is so much better than yours and you're just wondering why yours isn't that great when i was younger there wasn't instagram and facebook and all these things so you didn't have to see everyone else's accomplishments constantly thrown in your face like you do now so although i love my life and i feel like i'm very blessed in a lot of ways there are things that i wish i had and that I thought I would have had at 29 that I don't so I do struggle with just accepting my life for what it is and not letting someone else's accomplishments or where someone else is in life get the best of me or make me feel less than it's definitely not as intense for me as it used to be a couple years ago because I have gotten a lot better with just living my life and not focusing so much on the lives of others. But it is still something that I deal with now and I think a lot of us deal with. Because again, just scroll through Instagram or go on Facebook and you'll see something amazing that someone else is doing. And you might just feel like, what? That's not happening for me or... I'm not ex how come I'm not experiencing that so that's just something that I work on daily and I've definitely have gotten a lot better at so yeah that would definitely summarize my 2018 it was filled with a lot of highs and just a couple 
lows but overall again it was a pretty lit year for me and i'm very excited to see what 2019 has in store for me how was 2018 for you guys why don't you leave me some comments down below letting me know what it was like for you was it great was it bad is it filled with a lot of learning a lot of growth let's keep the dialogue going about this so i'm interested to see what you guys have to say and i hope you enjoyed this video please make sure to like comment and subscribe so i can continue to grow here on youtube make sure you're following me on instagram and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye